Oh! Oh look! My Caribena Versicolor Malted. So yes, in case you didn't know, Avicularia revision has been published, so I won't be going a lot in the details. This will just be a quick overview of the situation because there has been a lot of changes. I personally didn't read the revision. Everything that I will say will be based on the post on the Arachna boards. I personally am not a scientist and that paper is intense. So yeah, a little disclaimer, don't take everything that I said is 100% truth because I read it from the other people. Let's quickly go through the changes that, that are most obvious. We have three new genuses. Genuses. No, what's the, what's the plural of genus? Plural of genus. Genera. So we have three new generas. Caribena, Ibiapora and Antilena. Let me just check if I pronounced it right. Caribena, Ibiapora. Ibi Ibi Ibirapora. So yes, Caribena Ibiapora Ibirapora. Caribena Ibirapora and Antilena. Antilena. And the species that were moved in those genera are Avicularia leta is now Caribena leta. Same goes for Avicularia versicolor, it is now Caribena versicolor. So yes, if you are like me and have only Avicularia versicolor, you no longer have an Avicularia. So now we have excuse to get another one. So Caribena Leta and Caribena Versicolor. Next, Avicularia Soretama is now Ibirapora Soretama. Avicularia Gamba is now Ibirapora Gamba. And Avicularia Diversipes is now Ibir, Ibi, Ibirapora Diversipes. And last species is Avicularia Requesti. It is now all alone in new genus Antilena. So those are the species that are moved into new genuses. Not genuses, genera. Avicularia genus now contains only 12 species. I won't be going through all the species. I will put the list somewhere here and check it out. Now regarding the other species of Avicularia that are well known in the hobby like Avicularia Metallica and Geraldi, those names are discarded in the paper. Now I'm not sure if that means that they are entirely discarded because from my understanding they are removed only because the holotypes are either missing or weren't studied. In case you don't know, holotype is the original specimen that was collected and used for describing the species. They are kept usually in museums, so scientists can always take that holotype and check stuff on the specimen. <laughs> My vocabulary isn't really scientific. <laughs> Sorry about that. So what does that mean for us hobbyists? Basically nothing special. For example, if you have Avicularia Metallica, just leave the sticker on because that species can still be verified. I'm not certain if its holotype exists or if it needs to be collected again from the nature. But yeah, th those species still exists. Although maybe there are just some other species that is still left in the genus, we can't really know that. So just keep those stickers and only change the stickers on the species that are in new genus. At least that's what I will do. So that's basically it. I think I didn't forget anything major. And if you are wondering why am I going up and down, it is because I'm sitting on Pilates ball. Uh, if something new comes up, regarding the revision, I will make another video. But for now, these are the informations that I have. But yes, my... I keep forgetting. Caribena Versicolor, I really molted. That wasn't made up for the skit. The timing was excellent. And before we wrap this episode up, I have one sad news. My Psalopeus Ecclesiasticus sling died around three months ago. It molted and it began to show signs of DKS. At start it was eating regularly so I was hoping that it will just molt it out but then it stopped eating and two days ago I found it dead so that's unfortunate and also what is really unfortunate about that is because it was from my friend's exec I actually think that it was his first successful exec maybe second not sure but yeah it was a gift and sucks when it happens 
But anyway, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, thumbs it up and comment something. If you are new to this channel, make sure to subscribe and I will see you again next Monday. Oh, yeah. oh yes, I will try to upload every Monday and Friday from now on. So that means two videos each week. For now, I have enough materials, but I won't promise anything. Every Monday and every Friday. And I forget about something else. <laughs> I'm so forgetful today, I don't know. The amazing photos that I used in this video were taken by a guy named Julian. His nickname is Miguel. I hope I pronounced that right. Don't hate me. Down below you will find a link to his Flickr account. Flickr. That image sharing website. So make sure to check it out because he got some amazing photos. You will see and you will love it. You probably already saw at least one of his pictures. So yeah. Uh, bye. <laughs>